Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to say about horizontal chain transfer and the difference between horizontal chain transfer and vertical chain transfer. Horizontal chain transfer. Horizontal chain transfer is the non-sexual movement of genetic material between unicellular organisms or between unicellular and multicellular organisms or between multicellular organisms. That is, horizontal gene transfer is a process in which an organism transfers genetic material to another organism that is not its offspring. Incoming genes can replace or introduce new genes into a genome. Horizontal gene transfer, also known as lateral gene transfer. Horizontal gene transfer is common in the microbial world. For example, in archaea, bacteria and also in unicellular eukaryotes. Bacteria have acquired a variety of important traits including antibiotic resistance, pathogenesis and metabolic pathways by a horizontal gene transfer. This horizontal gene acquisition enabled bacteria to explore new habitats and also plays an important role in the evolution of bacteria. Transposons, temperate bacteriophages and plasmids plays an important role in the horizontal transfer of genetic information between bacteria. Once transferred, the genes and pathogens continue to evolve, often resulting in bacteria with greater resistance. There are three mechanisms of horizontal gene transfer in bacteria. They are transformation, transduction, and conjugation. In recent years, more and more instances of horizontal gene transfer have been reported in multicellular eukaryotes, even in humans. For example, in plants, transfer of the tumor-inducing genes from some agrobacterium species into their host plant genomes. This transferred genes appear to have a role in evolution of these plants. Thus, horizontal gene transfer is an important factor in the evolution of many organisms. We should note one important point here, that is, horizontal gene transfer poses a problem for clinical surveillance and treatment. Because bacterial populations evolve rapidly, resulting in diversity. Next, we are going to say about the vertical gene transfer. Vertical gene transfer is the normal transmission of genetic material from parent to offspring. Finally, we are going to say the difference between horizontal gene transfer and vertical gene transfer. Horizontal gene transfer is a process in which an organism transfers genetic material to another organism that is not its offspring. Vertical gene transfer is the normal transmission of genetic material from parent to offspring. Horizontal gene transfer does not produce a progeny. Vertical gene transfer produces a progeny. Horizontal gene transfer occurs either through transformation, transduction or conjugation. Vertical gene transfer occurs either through asexual or sexual reproduction. Only few genes transferred through horizontal gene transfer. The old genome transferred through vertical gene transfer. Horizontal gene transfer is extremely important in adaptation and evolution of both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Vertical gene transfer ensures the maintenance of the identity of species. I'm concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video. Thank you friends.